You go into a room, you leave something behind, and you also pick something up from that. Those items, be it hair and fiber, DNA, fingerprints, that you would leave behind are things that we are looking for. I'm Cheryl Dominey. I'm a corporal, a forensic identification specialist, and I work in the forensic identification services. To be part of the forensic identification section, you need to be detail-oriented and be comfortable going into uncomfortable scenes and at the same time spending a lot of time poring over the evidence that you do collect. A lot of forensic evidence is perishable and it could be lost if uh, response isn't fast. It's not unusual for a phone to ring at 3 a.m. in the morning and it's go time. Whenever I get a call to go process a crime scene, I'll speak to the member at scene to get an idea of what I'm dealing with. A lot of times I have equipment that needs to be taken, every scene's different, and then from there I will go and start to record the crime scene before anything is done. Be it fingerprint examination or any exhibit seized, then we have a documentation of what was done to the scene. When I bring an exhibit back to the detachment to examine further, the first things I do are, again, take notes, and then I'll photograph that item before I process it, being fingerprint powder, chemicals, dye stains. I'm looking for fingerprints, hair and fiber, footprints, tire tracks, all forms of forensic evidence. It's nice to be able to provide that information that would otherwise not be known to families. Perhaps it leads to convictions in court or even just closure for families. I separate my work life from my personal life by leaving work at work. Whenever I take my vest off and my belt off, I leave my job, my day, everything I've seen, experienced with that piece of equipment with my vest. On my day off, I like to enjoy my time with my husband and my children and uh, like to go camping, like to go swimming, like to explore everything that is here in Nova Scotia. That's why we moved here, to explore the East Coast. <laughs>